Hi, I'm Shaul. With a rapid increase in bandwidth requirements due to users utilizing things such as online meetings, cloud-based file sharing, and HD video streaming, there's never been a better time to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6. As a value-added distributor that serves both business and residential partners, we'll be taking a look at what one needs to consider when upgrading to Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax, is essentially the latest IEEE Wi-Fi standard. This offers a huge jump in performance when compared to its predecessors being Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 6 is equipped with an improved version of MIMO, which essentially allows for a single access point to send and receive to multiple devices at the same time. Furthermore, it has a feature called TWT, which is target wake time, which is specifically designed for IoT devices and helps with energy saving. When looking to build a stable, high-performing Wi-Fi 6 network, there are a few basic considerations. Firstly, you want to plan out your network to ensure that there aren't any physical obstructions that are going to hinder the performance of your Wi-Fi. There are some valuable tools that one can use to do this, such as heat maps, if you have the available site plans. If not, one can simply go through and do a physical site survey. Next of all, you want to understand the requirements of that network. And by that I mean how many concurrent connections are you looking to serve and what type of speeds do you require. This will guide you in the selection of the correct Wi-Fi. Next of all, you want to look at the internet connection that's available. If the internet connection is not adequate to support the speeds and concurrent connections that you're looking to serve, this will act as a bottleneck to the entire network. And then last but not least, you want to leverage the tools of the hardware that you're using. Most enterprise grade or even residential Wi-Fi solutions come standard with management platforms that allow for the easy monitoring and onboarding of various devices. Selecting the correct hardware for your network is typically dependent on the scale of your network. Here are some of the devices that one would typically require. Firstly, you're going to require some Wi-Fi access points. A Wi-Fi access point is a device that broadcasts or announces an SSID for users to connect to. To select the correct Wi-Fi access point, you'll need to determine how many concurrent connections you're looking to serve, how many SSIDs you'd like, and what type of traffic you're going to be pushing over that Wi-Fi network. So depending on your installation and the scale of the application, you might want to consider utilizing PoE switches. These switches are able to push both power and data over Ethernet to your devices, meaning that you've got a much cleaner, simplified installation when powering up your Wi-Fi access points. Last but not least, you'll definitely want to include a Wi-Fi controller, whether it be for a small home installation or a large-scale enterprise Wi-Fi integration, we have a variety of different controller options that are applicable to both home administrators or even network operators. Some of the applicable examples would be your GWN from Grandstream, Unify Controller from Ubiquiti, CN Maestro from Cambium, and last but not least, your TP-Link Omada Controller. Our aim is to empower you to connect communities with the best in breed technologies that are available. If you'd like to learn more, visit our Miro e-commerce website at miro.co.za or give us a call to speak to one of our sales solution specialists. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos just like this. Last but not least, hit the bell button to get notified of any future uploads.